okay, so this is free code camp, Mongo DB and Mongoose, still part of the back end development and APIs section. Um, this is part one. Make sure you already have a Replit account. That way you can just use the Replit starter project and basically clone that over. Makes it a lot easier. Um, this first part is actually pretty complicated. There's some things that Free Code Camp doesn't tell you that you need to do that you'll have to to get this to pass. Um, and there's actually two different guides you need to follow. So first, um, you need to follow this uh, link and this guide. Um, you have to create the MongoDB Atlas uh, account first. Um, so once you create a free MongoDB Atlas account, from there you'll start up uh, a free database using shared servers. Um, but unless you follow all of this and create your new cluster, um, and change security so it has access from anywhere, um, you won't be able to do any of these um, challenges. Um, basically, after you use the free account, uh, keep track of the name of your database and then also your password, because um, you'll need that. And then let's go back here. So. It says, first off, um, you're going to require mongoose in your myapp.js. So if we go here, um, you can see uh, let mongoose equal require mongoose. So we have that. And then also what you'll want to do is set a constant for .env uh, equals require .env. And then .env .config, uh your path will be sample.env which is here. I'm not going to click on that, though, to keep my password uh, hidden. Um, the challenge here, we'll talk about how if you're using Replit, you can't create a .env file. Use the built-in secrets. Um, just ignore all that, um, because right here on the Replit account, you can see the sample.env file, which we do manipulate here. So we have our uh, .env.config, so that path leads to this uh, env file here. We require mongoose, and then we're gonna say mongoose.connect, and that's pulling straight from here. Uh, and then we do the URI, um, but don't use the angle br brackets. So just grab this piece of code that they give you, mongoose.connect, and um, in uh, parentheses, process.env.mongo underscore URI. And um, here under the sample.env file, um, it'll say mongo uh, underscore URI equals. So it's basically pulling from this env file. Um, so you might be wondering how to create that. Um, when you go to your Atlas account, um, you can just name your database cluster zero, makes it easy, uh, driver node.js, um, version 4.1 or later, and then um, I said add, uh, add a connection for an application, and it actually gives you the code right here, so you don't have to, you know, really mess around with the Mongo link at all. Um, it lays it all out right here, even includes the name of your database, so you don't need to worry about that. Just copy this. And the only thing you're changing now is um, where it says password, just type in the name, or just type in the password that you set for your database. Make sure you, you get rid of those angle brackets. And uh, just put that in your EMV file. Um, and so once all of that's done, you have um, these lines up here, you have this line to require mongoose, and you add this if you go ahead and run it. Okay. <clears throat> so you see app is listening on port 3000, which is normal. Uh, if it, the web view looks like this, mongodb and mongoose, uh, then you know you did it correctly. 
go ahead and copy that live link go back here paste that in and as long as all all of that is done it should pass and then you're good to go on to the next challenge so yeah that one is pretty difficult there's a lot of things that they don't really tell you to add or that don't really make sense so hopefully this guide helps